What's going on, guys? It's your friendly farms pastor, True Exodus, coming at you. Shot Show 2024, and we've got an incredible day planned for you. I love Shot Show because these are where all my friends are at, and I always love seeing them, celebrating all their successes, seeing the new products, and that's what we're going to go do today. So come along, join with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. So when you come to SHOT Show, you come to the main floor, it's huge. These are where all the big boys are at, Glock, FN, Under Armour, Aimpoint. The booths are insane, the products are there. People are always willing to share with you a little bit more about what they've got going on as far as new products, let you touch things, answer all the questions. It's so much fun. Come, let's see what's going on. So one of the things you have to understand about SHOT Show is that there's so much to see. You could travel for miles. There's 14 miles of aisles, over 2,600 vendors. So you can't see everything that you'd like to see, but you should see Beretta 1301 Tactical and everything that Beretta has to offer. I've shot about 5,000 rounds of this gun. It's fantastic. So light, you can hold this, you can hold this gun up with one hand. It's just like, and I'm a small guy too. Like I can sit here and hold this gun up for the next two minutes. Fantastic. So one of the things I love about SHOT Show, all the people. I love people. People are fantastic. Different languages, shapes and sizes, races and colors, countries, nationalities. It's all fantastic. But what SHOT Show is about is about community. And we love the community here. You absolutely have to come by the Staccato booth because it's always banging here with their 2011s. Check these out. So that you know, right? So you can yeah. go over it. So we widen the frame a little bit on the CS. Okay. Same gun that's just now it's flush, but as you can see on the C2, see how there's like a little gap there? Yeah. Yeah, so we don't have that anymore on the CS. Okay. Um, so that's really the change on the CS. Now it's all flush frame to slide. Um, we're giving a couple options with the CS. The X-Series serrations here are gonna be available for these now. Okay. Uh, we're still gonna do black barrel for that. And then also they're doing the island barrel. Very good. Uh, uh, on the limited, other side here, you yeah, said? Yeah, it's gonna be like a limited quantity of those, obviously. Um, but the big but the big deal is gonna be the availability of the C, which is all of this in a four inch uh, capacity with a full size grip as well. Okay. But we don't have any of the full size grips out here. It's basically two extra rounds. So instead of a 16 round magazine, you got 18 round magazine. Very good. Yeah. Gosh. Uh, and that's gonna have a, a, a different recoil system than even the CS. So. So when you come to SHOT Show, you absolutely have to stop by the IWI booth. They have so many incredible things. They don't have anything new this year, but they have the TS-12. It's a 15 round uh, semi-automatic auto loading 12 gauge dealing hate machine. And I love it. And on top of it, you got the Meprolite M22. It's new for Meprolite. Meprolite's got a booth around here somewhere. I'm sure we're going to find it. But these combinations are incredible, incredible weapons. The Negev. Yeah, okay. So when I got to go to Israel, I got to shoot the Negev at an army base, and this thing rocks it. I mean, it just, super fun. Um, shot a lot of belt feds, but this is special for sure. All right. So we're at one of the places that I absolutely am so proud of these people. Cloud Defensive, sharing a booth with Genesis Arms, Agency Arms, and whoever these people are. I don't know who they are. But neither here nor there. Cloud Defensive, so happy for Matt and Sean. Got to give a shout out to my homies there in Evansville, Indiana. They changed the name of the game when it came to lights and handheld lights, weapon lights, everything like that. I want to show you some stuff real fast. We've got the MCH Duty right here. I carry this with me everywhere I go. Recently got this fantastic light. And this is something I'm looking forward to. Look at the micro. Look how small that is. I love it. Great for concealed carry. Stick that in a pocket and backpack. I absolutely love it. And then they've got their smaller little brim lights or just put that in the pocket light love these things too hey how are you doing it's how you been you. good very good you looking great how Thank are you? you you look great too a little bit better for big fat man <laughs> <laughs> still running those guns really fast aren't you uh yeah it's yeah cg what's <laughs> you spend a lot of money on that cg then don't you yeah yeah <laughs> what's uh what's the new product for you what's coming out for terran tactical terran tactical oh, we just a panic collab yeah so this gun is be able to get to anybody for under a thousand dollars, nine fifty. So finally, we can get people something with nothing going on. Oh, done with waiting for this Absolutely. like Rolex stuff. Now. Absolutely. Uh, we got the Genesis three gun finally. In the world of three gun, there's never been a AR-15 mag fed platform that ever worked. Okay, yeah. It's always been a Sega types thing. 
And I, I was the first guy to ever win the Nationals with a Mac Vet shotgun. It was my, my goal to take out Jerry Micklick and, yeah. and, and Mike and everybody. But it's still jammed. <laughs> Both times I won, it was 20 seconds. It just sucks. Right? Yeah. So finally, the Genesis, we're doing it for John McCree. Couldn't get it ready in time. But now the gun's unreal. Yeah. On my range, shoot every piece of trash. That you can. Shot, That's built, right. Buckshot, sludge, garbage. It feeds everything. Blows. It's like an AR-10. But how do you beat that platform? I don't know. <laughs> well, can't wait to shoot it sometime. I haven't shot one yet, but we'll shoot one, I'm sure. Yeah, come, come see the three gun uh, model. Okay. Oh my it gosh. It, it took a while. Like, I'm not going to ever let anything come through that isn't ready to go. Yeah, no doubt. So we went back and forth on the on the port designs. We're out there shooting. You know, I just I had a sensitivity to what shoots flat, which is yes. good. So this is it, 18 and a half inch barrel. <sighs> Finally, a shotgun. We got a new base pad instead of 10 rounds. You got 14 round capacity. Oh my gosh. It shoots crazy flat, flatter than any other Mac that shotgun. Hyper fire tray here. Yeah. 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 Everything about it is just, you know, it's crazy. It works. What's its price point? Um, I don't know yet. We just got it finished. It's going to be kind of to us. Probably priced around the same as the John Wilson Reed. This is it by Brass Iron Monkey. Wow. They did a wild edition of it. I know. They, they, they do crazy stuff. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. They make it look like a video game. Yeah. They get it all Kardashian now. Kardashian. Yeah. Whoop! Oh my gosh. I feel like I just got a new skin on Call of Duty and I want to go pwn some noobs. And so I feel like I'm going to take a. I feel like I'm going to have a LAN party with my friends. And just go slay some noobs. That's what I feel like right now. Oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, and this is a great optic. Yes. You know, you take the pounding and never break. Absolutely. You shoot a bolt through it, it still works. That's what is that about? EOTech, right? Yeah. Oh my we just God. have to worry about the bottom. Yes. I just felt that. that. It's crazy. Gosh. Woo! 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 <laughs> Better than most rifles. I know. Uh, it is better than most rifles. Yeah. They got some DCM furniture. They're great guns. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for showcasing this. I appreciate together. it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get a picture together. And when you come to SHOT Show, you absolutely have to stop by the Scalar Works booth and see the mastermind behind it all. His name's Phil. He is fantastic. And he'll talk to your ear off about all of his products. But I got to show you some things I've been using for years. The Leap Mount, I've been using this mount for, for years. Incredible. Uh, no tools required. Simply just click it, take it off. It's good to go. He's got tons of other things. The sink mount for the uh, Berettas and Benelli's are fantastic. They're over here. Oh, excuse me. So sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> the sink mounts are incredible because they allow just an a, a incredible flush profile with everything shotgun related. I love the sink mount from Scalar Works. Of course, they always have Gucci and Bougie guns. But one of the things that they have is they've got their uh, leap mount, but they've also got their kick, which is a 45 degree offset that goes off to the side. Of course, if you're a 45 guy, that's pretty cool. If you guys like canning it off to the side. And then on top of that, let's see here. Ah, yes. Let me squeeze this way. Scalar Works has some of the best iron sights that I've found upon the market. Their peak 1.0s are fixed, obviously, but then they've got their flip-ups, their backup sights, and these come in 157 or 193, and these, these are, they're just amazing. You're just gonna have to check them out. So SHOT Show had to expand a couple of years ago to the Caesars Forum, and it's just, it's, it's still lots and lots of people, lots of space, come with me. And when you come to SHOT Show, you gotta come to the Desert Tech booth. These guys are fantastic. They just came out with their new Wolverine model. Now, if you've been watching the Battle of the Bullpup series that I just recently put out, the Desert Tech MDRX, and now this is the Wolverine, is the best bullpup that you're gonna be able to find on the market for the amount of money that you're spending, primarily just because of how accurate they are as a platform. But I love these guys. These guys are super and fantastic. You should come visit them next time you're here. primary weapon systems 
makes some of the best piston-driven AR-15s on the market, hands down. Been using this rifle right here, probably about five, 6,000 rounds, and I've had a lot of experience with piston-driven guns. These guys are fantastic. Tell me all about this. This is called an ACR killer. Oh my gosh, an ACR killer. Walk us through the features, Ari. Absolutely, so this is what I consider a caliber agnostic. System. A caliber agnostic. Doesn't know what it wants to be doesn't when it grows up, it does it? Be. Yeah, we got 308, 760, 39, 86 oh. blackout, six arc, um, 253 obviously. Yeah. Um, but many possibilities. Okay, well I like it. I like this idea. When are we gonna give when are you gonna give me one of these things? Let me show you something real quick. This is this is the difference between us and the ACR. Pop that out. Yeah, my gosh. Caliber <laughs> agnostic. It's not just a magazine swap, <laughs> yeah. but in the same battery design. And, and, the, and sorry, spring. There's your bolt. Now up here, into it. This is how you do the barrel. Three lugs. Three lugs. And it two. just comes off. <laughs> There's oh, something oh. you'll notice on our barrel design here too. This is also, so you know, this gun right here has got nine patents. Okay. Um, the same designers from the MCX, MPX, Rattler designed this gun. Praise God. Yeah. So this is the this technology you'll only see in tanks. Okay. Um, what is this? This is, this is what we call our bore evacuator. A bore evacuator. So what it does is it's a chamber with two ports. As the bullet passes through the barrel, it creates pressure in the chamber. As it exits, it creates a venturi effect, which pulls the gases and debris out forward. Okay. So and it mitigates. You're not you're not getting as much of what you need to come back into the piston that comes back in the shooter. It's all going up front end of it. Yes. Okay. Very good. So very very pleasant to shoot, especially if you're a left hand shooter. Yeah, Simple self, breakdown. Self, self yeah. Yeah. This is a, this is what we consider a modified long stroke very good all right so when you come to shot show you're gonna have to visit ohio ordinance and their reaper which is a belt fed 338 norma effective range 1600 meter squad weaponry gun this gun can break down and fit into a backpack and they got it up here on a helicopter i actually shot this gun a year ago at kind of like a hush hush event and it was incredible it was insane i wish you could have seen my face when i was shooting it but Fantastic weapon. It's going to change small unit tactics. So proud of Bobby, and I'm so proud of all the people over here at Ohio Ordnance. So SHOT Show is all about community and friends. In fact, we like the products and everything like that, but really when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, it's all about friendship. It's all about community. We love each other. We support each other, and that's why you have to come to SHOT Show. And we know we had to end our little tour here with Nemo Arms. Nemo Arms makes incredible rifles, some of the best rifles that you're ever gonna spend money upon. But they recently just came out with their nine millimeter sub gun, the Mongoose. Can't wait to get this in my hands. Can't wait to run this. Wanna show you a couple things about it. Look at how easy in, easy out this magazine goes. Super, super easy. And not only that, side charging handle. I cannot wait to run 10,000 rounds through this gun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But with that said, guys, I've got a get you out of here. Thank you so much for following me around. Thank you so much for being with me. True Exodus here saying, hold fast, stay the course, out.